Hello and welcome to Analog Insights. In today's episode, Jules and I will review the Olympus Pen F, which is a beautiful all mechanical 35 millimeter half frame SLR camera. It was first introduced in 1963 as the Olympus Pen F and sold under that name for three years and was then replaced by the Olympus Pen FT, which featured a slightly dimmer viewfinder and also a light meter, only then to be replaced again by the FV, which went back to the original viewfinder and left out the light meter again. The version we're testing here is the very first iteration that also comes with the quite remarkable gothic font at the, the, the F logo at the front that was also used for the digital iteration, the marketing activities around the digital Olympus Pen F that came out much later um, and of course is a digital camera and played with the tradition of the Olympus Pen F, the analog camera that we're talking about today. We've tested the camera extensively. Um, I, I did quite some photo walks around uh, last December and around Christmas and then Jules and I went out together on a little photo walk um, with this camera, shooting it both with the traditional Pan F lenses but also using an OM to Pan F adapter with one of Jules' wide angle lenses, the 24mm F2 OM lens that can also be adapted to that Pan F camera. So without further ado, let's get started and find out whether this half frame camera is potentially a creative limitation or rather a creative liberation. When the Olympus Pen F was first introduced, 35 millimeter film and processing was considered quite expensive. So Olympus actively invested in the creation of such a half frame camera system that would allow photographers to get 72 frames out of a standard 36 frame roll. And that of course was the major selling point here. Um, despite that, it was a all mechanical camera. It came with a beautiful design and a very small form factor and um, did not feature any light meter, that's important, and a double stroke film advance. So very similar to, for instance, the, the first iterations of the Leica M3. Um, most importantly, I think it is to mention that it is a complete single lens reflex camera, despite the fact that it's such a small form factor. So um, due to the incredible design of the legendary designer Yusita Matane, who is behind the Pen F, um, creation. Uh, it was possible to have the mirror system kind of recessed into the camera and l avoid the typical pentaprism hump that all the other 35 millimeter single lens reflex cameras have. And because of that, the camera has the very small, same small size as the classic Leica rangefinders, so the Oscar Barnack um, screw mount cameras had. And that is of course very interesting because these um, Oscar Barna cameras are rangefinders and here you have the very same form factor and you have the complete mirror system that a single lens reflex um, usually needs. And that is made possible by a very important trick and that is vertical orientation of the mirror. So by default the Olympus Pen F shoots vertical oriented images and the, what you see through the viewfinder of course is also vertical. <music> The Olympus Pen F comes with an exceptional shutter, which is a rotary focal plane titanium shutter, which consists basically of one piece and opens completely before it closes again. And that is a, quite a contrast to the much more commonly used um, two curtain shutters in single lens reflex 
camera. So two curtain focal plane shutters usually work like that, that you have one curtain open and then the other kind of closed behind it. And you get um, your film exposed through a little slit that is moving along the film plane. And here you have it completely open before it closes again. And that also means that you have full flash synchronization across all shutter speeds. So in, this, in the case of this camera, from one five hundredth of a second up to one second. So across the entire spectrum, plus of course the usual Bob mode. Um, what is also important to mention is that the shutter speed dial, which feels really great by the way, is located at the front of the camera and it is very easy to use. So you can use it while you have the camera up and at your eyes um, and can still kind of use your index finger to move the shutter speeds around. And what is also important to mention, while the shutter is very loud, and that's a huge contrast to a typical rangefinder camera, despite the fact that it comes in such a compact size, it is virtually vibration free, which is really great. The design of this camera is simply beautiful and to be completely honest it is also what first attracted me to this camera. So at a time when I had no idea about whether this was half frame or not and what that even entailed. So I was just attracted to the camera because of its design and um, I got instantly hooked. And uh, interestingly I was on the brink of purchasing it when one of our viewers reached out to us, somebody um, located here in Munich. and kindly offered us his camera for a review. And of course, both Jules and I, we jumped at the opportunity and get super excited about it. And I'm incredibly grateful for the uh, lender of this camera who wants to remain anonymous, but we really, really appreciate it. So thanks for, for lending this camera to us and letting us do this review. Um, it was a wonderful experience using it. And um, with respect to the design and the build quality, I can really say it is a wonderful camera, despite its small form factor. All the buttons that you have, the shutter speed dial, the shutter button, even the film advance, the two double stroke advance, it just feels wonderful and it's such a nice and lovely camera. And I really enjoyed using it. <music> So now that I talked so much about the positive sides of this camera, so the great build quality, its design, its compact form factor and all that, let us briefly talk also a little bit about the limitations or negative sides. Um, first and foremost, in my opinion, we have to mention the very loud shutter sound because that really is a main difference to a more um, discrete shutter sound of let's say a Leica M rangefinder camera that feels similarly discreet and compact <laughs> as the Olympus Pen F. And once you use that camera and you, you walk around, you have this beautiful vertical oriented um, viewfinder and you take a shot and in that moment you realize, okay, it's not discreet at all. And you almost feel like everyone's looking at you because of that very loud and strong sound. Um, I also want to mention that in my opinion, it does not feature a proper shutter button. It's only this 
kind of this shutter button located at the forefront of the camera kind of almost falling <laughs> down and um, I personally would have appreciated having a more common and more solid shutter button but that's of course a minor detail. Um, what I personally really liked is the double stroke film advanced but here I have to mention that sometimes it happened to me that I wanted to take another shot and was not able to take that shot because I had missed to advance the lever all the way when I did the second stroke. So you really have to go all the way in order to cock the shutter completely and properly and only then you can take another shot. And that's a small detail, but that um, happened to me as well. Another really small detail that will only affect strange people like me is that if you focus with your left eye, the film advance lever is bound to kind of push into your forehead when you <laughs> hold the camera up until your, up until your eye. Um, onto your eye. Um, that of course did, does not happen to people who um, focus with their right eye as Jules does for instance, um, so he was not bothered with, with it at all. But I instantly noticed it when I used the camera for the very first time last December and I was kind of confused about it but then I realized okay maybe it's uncommon the way I focus. So um, that's a very small but also a little negative that I found. <music> The Olympus Panf series offered the largest set of accessories and lenses ever in half-frame photography. So this was really the most advanced half-frame camera system ever created. And as briefly mentioned before, we have lenses ranging from a 20 millimeter f 3.5 wide angle lens, which would be a 28 millimeter equivalent on full frame 35 millimeter cameras, up to an 800 millimeter f8 lens. So this is incredible and all sorts of focal lengths in between. And in addition to that, there was a legendary 38 millimeter f2.8 lens, which is particular a pancake lens, which is particularly small and makes it in combination with the Olympus Pan F, a very small camera system, a very compact one. And um, what Jules and I really appreciated is the large set of accessories that are available for it, and most importantly, a number of adapters. So there are, a num uh, there are adapters for Nikon, Canon, Pentax screw mounts, etc. Uh, and most importantly, the Olympus OM system. So what we did for our photo walk, we took one of um, Jules' o Olympus OM lenses, the 24 millimeter f2 lens and simply adapted it to the Olympus Pan F using the adapter and that worked out really well. What we've noticed here is that the aperture is transferred um, so once you stop down you um, can actually see that in the viewfinder and your viewfinder gets dimmer which yeah makes perfect sense but um, we considered it important to mention that as well. <music>
So to sum it up, the Olympus Pan F is probably the best half-frame camera ever made. It offers amazing build quality. Um, despite its form, form factor, its small size, it feels really solid, really great. The lenses bring about a great image quality and it's just so much fun to use. The only downside that is really important to mention is the loud shutter sound. So while the camera does make you feel discreet, once you press the shutter, you don't feel discreet at all. Um, but despite that, there's not much to complain about. It, if you can get the camera in a great condition, um, give it a try, get your hands on it. Um, we can highly recommend it. We were really surprised and um, got super excited about it. And thanks again to the anonymous lender of this camera who made it possible for us to review it for you guys and for this channel. So thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please remember to like it and maybe even share it with your friends. And also don't forget to leave your comments, thoughts, ideas, feedback in the comment section below. Um, we really uh, like reading your thoughts and um, also appreciate your feedback. Um, if you want to see more videos like that, please also don't forget to uh, subscribe to our little channel. If you haven't, um, Jules and I get really excited about each and every subscriber coming our way. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon. Bye.